Hello there. Um, I got a bit of green paper and I'm going to do a drawing on it. Oh. It's the uh, the cockpit, I think, of a crate phantom. And I'm drawing it out in pencil very lightly first. Well, as it turned out, not that lightly because I, I made ridges on the paper. I'm terrible for doing that. Anyway, drawing it out in pencil first because it's uh, that spiderweb-like effect is the perspective lines of the of the surrounding cockpit getting larger around me and, and, and going outwards and I, I just I just wanted to get it right and I thought this is going to look weird if I start trying to plan it in chalk because I'm always going to get it wrong chalk is better for just like colours patches of tone whereas you know now I'm emboldening certain areas to, to select certain of my planning lines to make them clearer so that I know that the planning lines that actually are the right ones rather than the general mishmash of zigzags that I seem to have put on. And you see that I'm starting to try and make it a little bit symmetrical. I don't know whether it was actually symmetrical. To be honest, it's not a massive issue if it's not, because it's only a, like a, 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 an interpretation of it, I guess. It's not the actual screenshot, because you just can't fake the screenshots accurately. They are, that bit is wrong, and I never got that right, that bit on the left. You never, you never going to get them exact because they're photographically beautiful, and, and the, the, the render teams that made the, the in in game imagery just it's so amazing. You can't you can't really fake it with chalk, but it's enjoyable doing it because you get to look at the pictures for a little longer, and it's it's it, it's just a pleasure to do it really. So uh, this is a really fun picture because it's got this bold and um, the depth of field is such that you've got quite a blurred outer vignetted imagery and then it, it, it sharpens up until it's, it's a sort of tight focus right in the center on the um in the in in the, in the view screen right at the center i'm not going to do that view screen until i have to because it, it, if with it being detailed i'm bound to put my hand on it and smudge it that's that's the actual view screen and that looks like it's the um the, the control sort of like the hotas i suppose but and drawing it out. I think that's pretty much done now. Oh yeah, now I'll get the chalks out and start. So I really don't have a lot to say about this other than this is me doing a little bit more kind of like machiney um, sort of angular stuff. So there's an awful lot of use of paper masks. Oh look, there's one now. Paper masks to keep my lines reasonably crisp and then at the end uh, <laughs> smudging those outer lines to make them less crisp to give that strange camera focus length thing that the, the commander that took the photo has, has made in the photo. It's a really lovely photo, actually. I really like it. Anyway, and, uh, and as ever, I will send it to them probably if they want it. Right, I'm going to shut up in a minute and let you just watch me colouring in green and blue and grey. Mostly grey. <laughs> I don't know why, because for some reason I had it in my mind that the crate a red oh no that's not that's that's the the crate mark two that's got a red i should know this i've just like spent six months traveling the galaxy in a crate and i've drawn umpteen of them but not from the cockpit view before anyway right okay i am going to shut up this time there's some music for you to listen to instead of me okay thanks bye <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.